Praise the Lord. Today I will be talking about the difference between earthly wisdom and divine wisdom. We all have a desire to be wise. We like to understand how things work, to be able to answer questions, to make decisions and to share what we know. We seek and search out wisdom and knowledge of the things of this world, just as Solomon did. However, Solomon discovered that earthly wisdom apart from God left him unfulfilled and discontented. In 1 Kings chapter 3, we learn that Solomon asked God for wisdom to rule his people. Instead of requesting material riches, comfort or pleasure, Solomon desired to advance God's kingdom through wise leadership. Because God was so pleased with Solomon's request, he granted it and gave him much more. Solomon began his royal reign as the wisest man on earth with great wealth and honor. At some point in his life, Solomon grew to love God's blessings more than God himself. His life began to revolve around his wealth, pleasure and adoration. He elevated his earthly wisdom above godly wisdom. Solomon forgot that it is the wisdom of God that answers our every need and gives us true perspective on life's deepest questions. According to James chapter 3 verse 17. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Earthly wisdom appeals to the senses and the emotions. In contrast, the wisdom that is from God reflects him. While earthly wisdom says always follow your heart, Godly wisdom tells us in Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 that the heart is deceitful above all things. Earthly wisdom says seeing is believing, but godly wisdom tells us in John chapter 20 verse 29 that blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. While earthly wisdom says love your family and friends, Godly wisdom tells us in Matthew chapter 5 verse 43 to 47 to also love your enemies and bless them. While earthly wisdom says there are many ways to God, godly wisdom tells us in Acts chapter 4 verse 12 there is only one way to God, Jesus Christ. According to James chapter 1 verse 5, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you God desires to give his divine wisdom to his children all other types of learning are valuable but are limited unless it is built upon the knowledge of the Lord himself to gain God's wisdom we must pray for it while studying and living out God's word so many distractions in this world threaten to pull us away from God We are constantly bombarded by viewpoints and ideas that contradict the Bible. It is easy to find our hearts straying from God towards ideas that sound impressive and appealing. But as believers, we must remain diligent and steadfast in seeking God and keeping his wisdom forefront in our minds. We may have to stand against the wisdom of the world in order to be solely led by God. Thank you for listening. I am Anna Gustin from Kadosh Marian Ministries.